Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are still on the topic bearings. In the previous video, we learned what a back bearing is. We also learned how to find a back bearing. In this video, we are going to solve more examples on back bearings. Let's pick the first question for this video. Find the bearing of y from x if the bearing of x from y is 118 degrees. So the bearing of y from x is the back bearing of x from y. So all the question is telling us to do is to find the back bearing. We learned in the previous video that to find the back bearing, if the bearing given to you is between 0 degrees and 180 degrees add 180 degrees to it in order to get the back bearing here the angle we have is 118 degrees is between 0 degrees and 180 degrees so in order to find the back bearing we add 0 we add 180 degrees to 118 degrees so we have 118 degrees plus 180 degrees and this will give us 298 degrees so using the formula the back bearing is 298 degrees. Let's learn how to use the diagram to find the back bearing. We've learned how to use the formula to do it. Now let's go on to the diagram. In order to use the diagram, draw the, bear, the diagram for the bearing given to you. The bearing given to us is X from Y and it's 118 degrees. If you draw the diagram, this is what you are going to get. As we learned in the previous video on bearing of on three point bearings. If you draw it very well, you see that the angle here is 228 degrees. If you want to understand how why we got 28 degrees here, watch the video on three point bearings. You understand why this place is 28 degrees. Now the bearing of x of y from x, you draw your diagram here then we know that the bearing of y from x, if you continue on this line and you continue on this line from plane geometry, we can see that this line here and this line here will be power lines. And if they are power lines, then it means that line x, y is a transversal. So this angle here is 28 degrees. It is alternating with this angle here. So this angle here is also going to be 28 degrees. In the video on angle properties on power lines under plane geometry, I explain this property into detail. So if you watch that video too, you are going to understand why this angle here is 28 degrees. Now the bearing of Y from X is going to be from this line here, clockwise direction up to this line. But we know that from this point here, which is the zero point up to this point is 20. 270 degrees so in order to get the bearing we just have to add 270 degrees to 28 degrees and we are going to get 270 degrees plus 28 degrees and that is going to be 298 degrees so the back bearing is 298 degrees it is the same as what we had on our calculator the calculating on the calculator we use the formula and here we use the diagram so in both cases we are going to get the same thing once again, it's very, very important that you learn how to use the diagram to do it. Okay, let's move on to the next part or the next question. The bearing of M from N is 200 degrees. Find the bearing of N from M. So once again, we are being told to find the back bearing. With the formula, we said that if the angle is less than 180 degrees, add 180 degrees to it if the angle is more than 180 degrees subtract 180 degrees to it from it sorry so here we have 200 degrees so what we are going to do is that we are going to subtract 180 degrees to it since from it since one 200 degrees is greater than 180 degrees we are going to subtract 180 degrees from it so we have 200 degrees minus 180 degrees and that is going to give us 20 degrees. So from using the formula, we have found the back bearing to be 20 degrees. Let's learn how to use the diagram to find it. So on the diagram, 
you draw your point here the bearing of m from n so with the bearing of n from n of m from n this is the diagram you are going to obtain if you want to understand why here is 20 degrees watch the video on three point bearings this was explained there why this place will be 20 degrees okay so in order to find a back bearing you draw another diagram you draw another line here a horizontal and a vertical line here so the back bearing that's the bearing of n from m will be this angle that is created here so what you have to do is to find the angle that will be created here okay we know that if we extend this line here and we extend this line here these two lines are parallel lines so line m and will be a transversal and if it's a transversal from the angle properties of power lines we know that the angle created here and the angle created here will be alternating angles alternating angles are equal so if here is 20 degrees this side here is also going to be 20 degrees so it means that the angle that you will find here is going to be 20 degrees the bearing of n from m will be measured from this line straight onto this line here so it means that the bearing will give us 20 degrees the bearing of m from n the bearing of n from m which is the back bearing will give us 20 degrees so we can see that the bearing of n from m is 20 degrees and that is exactly what we found on our calculator using the formula let's move on to the last question for this video the bearing of p from q is 275 degrees find the bearing of q from p so we are once again we are looking at the back bearing the formula says that if the angle given to you is greater than 180 degrees subtract 180 degrees from it 275 is greater than 180 degrees so to find the back bearing is going to be 275 minus 180 and that will give us 95 degrees so with the formula we have been able to find the back bearing as 95 degrees let's learn how to use the diagram to find it so what you have to do is to draw the bearing the diagram for the bearing that has been given to you that is p from q if you draw p from q this is the diagram that you are going to have so p from q will give us this diagram as i said if you want to understand why here is five degrees watch the video on three point bearings we explained that into details there okay so we want to find the back bearing so i'll draw the diagram on p here then you will find the back bearing and you can see clearly from here that the back bearing will be measured from this line straight onto this line but we know that from here to this side here or to this point here is 90 degrees so it's 90 degrees so we need to find a small angle and add it to 90 degrees in order to get the back bearing we know from plane geometry that if we extend this line here and we extend this line here these two lines will be parallel lines this line and this line are parallel lines so if here is 5 degrees it will be alternating with this angle here which is also 5 degrees because alternating angles are equal so in order to find the back bearing it's going to be from this line here straight onto this line which is 90 degrees plus 5 degrees so it's going to be 90 degrees plus 5 degrees which will give us 95 degrees as the back bearing so you see that using the formula and using the diagram we have been able to find the back bearing as 95 degrees so in each case we solve the question using the formula and using the diagram it's okay if you know how to use the formula to find the back bearing but it's also very very important that you learn how to use the diagram to find the back bearing because you are going to apply it a lot in our studies on application of bearings i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and share the link with others so that they can also enjoy the video in the next video we are going to apply everything we've learned in bearings so far to solve some questions bye bye